Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Marone. I want to show you something on LinkedIn that I get asked all the time. And this is about how to edit your public profile URL and what other people see on your LinkedIn profile to whom you're not connected. So let me show you. And I'm using Loom, which is such a great tool to actually show people how to do things on LinkedIn easily and in general. So I love this tool. So you go right up here to edit public profile and URL and you click that button and you see right at the top here, it says edit your custom URL. So this is where you can personalize the URL for your profile. So you see here, I've already done it for myself. And what you do is you just click on that little blue pencil. If mine was not optimized, I would have a bunch of extraneous characters after the E in my last name. So it would say Stephanie Marone, like QPRW597, which makes me sound like a really great robot or something or a Roomba. It doesn't make you sound tech savvy. And what I always tell people to do is to put your LinkedIn URL in your email signature. And you don't want to do that if it has, you know, all these characters after your last name. It's much cleaner and crisper when it's just your name. And, you know, I've said this before, but if your name is very common, like a John Smith, it's probably not available. So you have to do some playing around with variations of your name. You may have to put in a degree, such as an ESQ if you're a lawyer or your middle initial, but you'll find some variation of your name that is available. And you'll know right away, it will tell you when you save, it will say, that you've saved your settings and the name is available and what you'll do is just refresh and it'll take a couple seconds, but the new URL will appear at the top. Okay, second tip on this. You can edit the visibility of what people can see. So right here, I can see what other people see about my profile when they're not connected to me. So this is what individuals can see by Googling me and looking me up on LinkedIn. So the basic information is required and you can choose if you want people to see your profile photo. So you have the option of choosing if the public gets to see it, if it's just limited to LinkedIn members, your network. So this is up to three degrees of connections away from you. So your first degree connections are the people with whom you're actually connected. Second degree connections are the connections of your connections. And then third degree connections are the connections of your connections connections. I hope that makes sense. And then you can show your profile photo to only first degree connections. I don't recommend doing that. I, you know, in the same vein that your LinkedIn profile is, is partly on the internet, just like your website bio is, why not just make it available to people to just see? Now, if you're uncomfortable with certain things being available to the public, you can see here, if I toggle the switch, to the left, those things won't show to the general public. So let's say that I don't want the details of my past experience to show, you'll see that it just tightened that up. And maybe I don't want the details of my education to show and you'll see that it just updated that. Okay. So you get to choose it and you can do this on a real time basis. And I think it's a great tool here to have. But again, the whole purpose of LinkedIn is to be visible on the internet, to be visible to the world. And the one thing that it doesn't ask you to do is to show your connections. And I know that that's a tricky one. So don't worry about that. So I hope this was helpful. Again, you can see all of this just by going to that top area on your profile. And again, if you're trying to get back to your profile, all you have to do is go to me, view profile, and that takes you back. And then remember, this is where I was with edit public profile in URL. I hope you found this helpful. Follow me at LinkedIn, please, and also YouTube and pretty much all the other social platforms and also at my blog, the social media butterfly blog .com. Thanks for watching.